Hello everybody in Facebook land. How is everyone? Happy, I hope everyone had a nice Thanksgiving. And um, if you're brand new to this group and you don't know who I am, welcome. I'm Brianna, I'm the founder of this group and I help teen girls and young women end the vicious cycle of their mental health challenges so that they can rise above them and truly love themselves from the inside out. This is what I do every day, all day, and I am feeling so pumped because I just finished my group coaching session. I had amazing girls. We had about 20 girls um, all across the United States, and ah, I'm feeling so pumped that I wanna share something that I was talking to the girls about today. How bad do you want it? And when I say it, what is the it? By the way, if you're joining me live, let me know you're here live. Comment below live. If you are joining the replay, comment below replay so I know people are watching. Um, I asked my clients this today in our group coaching session. How bad do you want it? And it means how bad do you want the new life that's waiting for you? How bad do you want to feel happy? How bad do you want to feel good in your life? How bad do you want to feel enough? How bad do you want to have that confidence? How bad do you want to feel at peace within yourself? How bad do you want it? And it was interesting because all of the girls were like, oh my God, I want it so bad. 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 I want it right now, right? Every single person was like, Yes, I want it bad. And I told all of them, what are you willing to do then to get the life that you want and that you deserve to be living? Here's the thing and here's the gap. There's where your daughter is and there's where she can actually go to, where she can actually be truly living Right? That's her happiness, that's her confidence, that's her self-love, that's her you know, being positive, feeling great about herself, knowing who she is inside and out, feeling at peace with herself, feeling empowered, like she can do anything that she wants, right? So if that's where she wants to go, then there is a gap that is in the way of where she is now and where she wants to be. And we've got to bridge that gap. But here's the thing, nobody can bridge the gap for your daughter. Your daughter is the one that has to bridge that gap and get over it from where she is right now to get on the other side of where she wants to be. And so the question of the day is, how bad do you want it? What are you willing to do? Now, a lot of the same thing, Oh, my daughter has it so bad, right? But then what action steps are we taking to make it better? Okay? A lot of girls... Oh, are you guys still here? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Said it was poor Wi-Fi. I don't know why it's poor Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi thing is right over there. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to make this short and sweet. The reason that so many girls are staying stuck in their, hey Nicole, the reason so many girls are staying stuck in their suffering and they're not able to pull themselves out of that suffering is a couple, well, there's a couple things going on. One is that your daughter isn't focusing on who she wants to be. She's focusing on what she sees right in front of her. And for a lot of girls, that's depression. A lot of girls, that's anxiety. A lot of girls, that's suicidal thoughts. It's cutting, eating disorder. And they focus on the shit and then they get more shit and then they wonder why life isn't turning out well for them. You're focusing on the wrong thing. Come on, right? And therapy doesn't really help with this either because they keep focusing on problems without any solutions, right? So therapy is a lot of venting and not solution-based. So that's a problem in and of itself, but I'll save that for another topic of another conversation. So your daughter is standing in her own way of her greatness. And the fastest way that she's going to get to living her best life, one, she's got to believe that she's deserving of it. She's got to believe that she is worthy of receiving her best life. 
right? But the other thing too, she has to start focusing on different things. Again, there is what is right here in front of my face. <laughs> and then there is what is waiting for me. When I bought this house in San Diego, this was like a dream of mine. I wanted to live in San Diego for years. I wanted to like, I came from living in an apartment in Santa Monica to buying my dream home. There are, th there are steps that we have to take in order to co-create and in order to manifest our best lives. So before we have the life that we wanna live, we can't go suffer, 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 struggle, 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 and then tell ourselves, well, I'll be happy when I get it all. I'll be happy when things change. That's a fucked up way of changing our lives and it's not gonna, that is not the way that we change. That is not the way that we transform. If we wanna transform, and if you want your daughter to transform, it's not about, I will be happy when X, Y, Z happens. I will feel confident when this boy asks me out. I will feel good about myself when my GPA goes to a 3.8. I will feel good about myself when I get into that college of my dreams. That's a lot of waiting for outside circumstance to circumstances, excuse me, to line up for your daughter to give herself permission to live her best life. So your daughter can do a lot of waiting. She can do a lot of focusing on everything that's shit in her life, or she can change it today, right? But here's the thing. Your daughter is not going to know how to do any of this on her own because she is not an expert in transformation. I am. Your daughter isn't. And chances are you're not an expert in any of this either, right? So it's like, what do you wanna to do to get your daughter to live her best life, right? I mean, sure, we can buy all the self-help books in the world. Yeah, we can watch all the YouTube videos in the world. Yeah, we can do like minimal, and then we get minimal results. You know, the best investments I've ever made has all been with like the coaching programs that I've been a part of have all been with the mindset coaches that I've worked with. Like everything that I have invested in myself has been so worth it, has been so worth it because it's got me to the place that I am in right now. And there's still more that I'm manifesting. There's still that I am co-creating. I'm not done. I feel like I'm just getting started. But here's the exciting thing about your daughter and the life that is waiting for her. She is a co-creator. She's creating her life as we speak. Now, a lot of your daughters are creating their suffering unintentionally. They're creating their depression and their anxiety and all the, um, the limiting beliefs that they live in every single day. They're creating the suicidal thoughts. They're creating the self-harm. They're creating the eating disorder. They've created it. They've created it all. So if your daughter is that powerful that she can create all of that suffering, don't you think that she can create all of her happiness and joy and positivity and abundance and self-love and confidence and self-worth and self-value? She can flip it. <sighs> I don't know if this Facebook Live is meant to be. <laughs> that is the second time that I've been booted off from my Wi-Fi. I don't know what is going on here. Anyways, I got a message and I'm going to share it. And even if it's getting chopped up into bits and pieces, I'll still, be, I'll still be speaking. Your daughter can have the life that she wants to live. But things have got to change. She can't be saying... The sad story of woe is me, life is hard, I never get what I want, I'm so undeserving, I'm so unworthy, life is so hard, it's so hard, it's so hard. If you keep singing that tune day in and day out, how hard your life is, you're going to have a hard life. Nothing changes until your daughter changes. And your daughter has to change from the inside out. It's not enough to give her medication and hope that that's enough. 
It's not enough to take her to a therapist and get her to open up and vent and vent and vent and vent and vent and, vent and hoping that that is solution based and hoping that that is going to heal her trauma and hoping that that is going to give her the self-confidence that she needs to thrive in life and the resiliency. It's not. So there are different ways that you can do this, right? You can choose the hard road or you can choose the easier road. I like to think that life doesn't have to be so hard. We make it harder than it needs to be. Adults do this too. And your daughter is doing it too if she's struggling. So if you'd like my help, watch my masterclass, Healing the New Medicine for Anxiety and Depression. I'll leave that link below. Schedule a call if your daughter wants the help and if you are sick and tired of watching your daughter suffer. That I'm talking to you, if your daughter is suicidal, you need to watch my webinar. If your daughter is cutting, you need to watch my webinar. If your daughter has anxiety and depression and she has been struggling for a while, you need to watch my webinar. If your daughter has an eating disorder, you need to watch my webinar. I know you think you're doing all of the right things. And I'm here to tell you that if your daughter is still struggling and she is not getting on the other side of anxiety and depression and suicidal thoughts and self-harm, if she's not getting on the other side and you're trying all the things under the sun, the hospitalizations, the ER visits, the therapy, the EMDR, the this, the that, all of the things, and it is still not working, then check out a different approach. Check it out. See for yourself. Watch the testimonials. Watch the hundreds of girls that have come through my program, that have truly transformed their lives. And you can make a decision for yourself and for your daughter what is best for her. I am here to share my message because it doesn't have to be so hard. And I hate to see these girls suffering through life when there is such an easier way. Check out my masterclass. I'll leave you with that. Bye for now.